I'm Dr. Alex Loy and welcome to the Spiritual Laws of Nature and today we are specifically talking about the third of the five big questions which is what is the greatest lie in the universe that can hold you back or ruin your best possible life? What is that for you? All right. If you have not watched The Meaning of Life and the Greatest uh, Purpose of Your Specific Life, I might do that before you watch this one. I think it would make a little more sense, but that's up to you. And this is also the track for anyone and everyone. There's another track for people who believe in Jesus, as I do. So um, check out whichever one of those seems to fit you best, or take a look at both of them. See what you think. All right. But... What is the greatest lie in the universe that keeps you from your absolute best lie? Here, best life. Here it is, right off the bat. This one's not going to take a whole lot of time. It's that self-interest is the key to life. That's it. I've got a really good friend who's very famous, a lot more famous than me, who has spoken and written that self-interest is the key to life. And he's talking about your most successful life. All right? Uh, I believe he's 180 degrees wrong. I believe self-interest can ruin your life, can keep you from your best life. All right? Uh, so let me explain this just a little bit, but shouldn't take long. I would say easily 90 plus percent of all the people I've worked with over the last 35 years, they are living that way as if self-interest is the key to their best life. Now, if I ask them that question, they don't answer that way. They don't say, oh, no, no, not self. I mean, it's about love and other people and great relationships and yeah, that's a good answer, but when you look at how they're living, they're really living as if self-interest is the key to their life. Well, what is self-interest? Self-interest means getting what I want. All right? It means making certain end results happen in my life and keeping other end results from happening. In fact, that's sort of the... Um, the uh, uh, written in stone that the that you kind of recite every morning when you get up metaphorically. All right, today I need to make certain results happen and keep certain results from happening. All right? And on if I can do that pretty good and go to my second thing, it would be to either get more pleasure if I'm not in pain or if I'm in pain to stop the pain numb myself from it, or distract myself from it in some way, okay? So for almost everyone I've worked with for 35 years, when they wake up every morning, that is their marching orders, okay? Self-interest, make certain end results happen, keep others from happening. If I can do that one, then pleasure, pain, all right? The problem is, and, 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 and that's a, a, a natural, normal uh, way to live because that's how we start living when we come into the world. Up to the age 5, 6, 7, sometimes 10 or 12, that's how we live. Number one, what do I want? Number two, develop a plan to get that. Put the plan into action until I get it. Number three, with my willpower, never give up until I get that. Now, we're supposed to live that way early in life, but we're protected from the destructive stress brain state because those first years of life, we're in delta theta brainwave state. It's the only time in our lifetime we are. Well, delta theta is a non-stress state. But when we get to 6, 8, 10, 12, whenever that is for the individual person, we shift out of delta theta into primarily beta while we're conscious, which is the stress state. So it's a totally different internal 
uh, chemical and hormonal paradigm once I reach that place, all right? Well, that's a clue, I think, on the greatest lie and the greatest truth. The first few years of life, we're supposed to live and make certain end results happen and keep others from happening. Self-interest, what I want, because that's the most likely time for me to die accidentally. And I'm spending all day every day learning, 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 putting this in my mouth, trying this, getting upset over that, getting hurt over here, all right? But then when I get to that age, I'm supposed to make a choice to do what is right regardless if it means more pain or less pleasure, regardless if I don't get the end results I want, regardless if it is not in my best self-interest, that's okay as long as it's right. But what I've found is that while most people would answer that and even have it as an ideal, they don't live that way. They live by waking up in the morning. What are, I need to make certain end results happen, keep others from happening, pleasure, pain, self-interest. All right? Well, the problem is that if I live that way, the hypothalamus turns on my stress response. For how long? For as long as I'm living that way. For most people, it's their whole life. Okay? Uh, Stephen Covey called, the, called it the tyranny of the urgent. Waking up every morning and doing the what seems urgent, but ignoring what's most important. Okay? On the other hand, if when I get to 6, 8, 10, 12, I do choose to do what is right, which means what is in love in the present moment, or maybe you could say the next 30 minutes, regardless of my circumstances, regardless of the end results, regardless of whether I get more pain or less pain, more pleasure or less pleasure, regardless if I feel like this did not really meet my self-interest very much, regardless of any of that, my goal, my commitment is the present moment in love. When I choose that, the hypothalamus flips on the success switch. And I start experiencing what anyone would list as the things of success. Positive thoughts, positive feelings, positive chemicals, positive hormones, immune system not letting me get sick, more energy, more positive, all effortlessly. So that is the way our body, mind, and spirit are built to work at their best. And the biggest lie in the universe is that they work a different way, which is to seek pleasure, avoid pain, self-interest. And if you buy into that, then your failure switch is turned on and you get the negative things, including sickness and disease, negativism, negative chemicals, negative thoughts, negative feelings, and you cannot change that with willpower. You can only change it by believing the truth rather than the lie that life is about self-interest, seeking pleasure, avoiding pain, and results. So, um, to me, that is the greatest lie in the history of the world, in the history of the universe. And the bigger tragedy is well over 90% of people believe it and are living that way. And I believe it's one of the reasons we're getting sicker and sicker and our lifespan is now for the first time in decades starting to go down. Even though we've made breakthroughs, even though we're smarter, even though we've uh, got people doing all kinds of great research, 
We are more and more selfish. We're more and more about the end result. We're more and more about pleasure and pain. More and more about the tyranny of the urgent, ignoring what is most important, which is to choose what is right, what is true, what is love-based in the next 30 minutes, no matter what I'm doing, and to give the end results and the pain pleasure up to God, up to love. I'm going to do my best working toward that, but frankly, whether it happens or not, I don't have complete control over that. That's not my gig. So um, I hope that helps. My suggestion is to take a look and see if you're believing that lie. Are you living by end results? Are you living by self-interest? Are you living by seek pleasure, avoid pain? Uh, one of the ways you can tell is which switch is flipped in your brain. Are you getting automatic positive thoughts, feelings, emotions, chemicals, great energy, great sleep, positive, don't get sick much, w without trying to? Or do you experience anxiety, irritation, frustration when things don't go your way, um, bitterness, hopelessness, helplessness, anger? The, uh, probably the number one indicator of which one you're believing is true, whether you're, you're buying this lie is the truth and and it's ruining your life to some degree, is if you experience something in the anger family. If you're on the love path, typically, unless it's something that I, that I would call godly anger, meaning that would make God angry, like a child being abused or something like that, or a life-threatening situation, you don't experience anger, irritation, frustration, resentment, bitterness when you don't get your way. You're disappointed, and then, okay, that's all right. Let's, let's go on to the next thing. Where if you're on the fear path, the self-interest path, you experience something in the anger family when you don't get your way. So that can be a great indicator of where you are. So check that out. And if you're believing the greatest lie, I would encourage you, let's stop believing it, stop living it, and start doing what we'll talk about next time, which is the greatest truth in the universe that can take you to your best possible life. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful, blessed day.